Hi, so this is Debbie Johnson from Pilates in Bridgewater Group. So uh, this is a special um, little 15 minute video for people who've got hogs. These are what the hogs are. They've sort of got prickles on, well they're not prickles, but bumps on the top. And they're a semicircular thing with sort of this on the bottom here. So what we're going to do is um, just some, some basic work that you can do to improve your flexibility of your ankles and to help your um, uh, balance really, things like that. Hello Caroline, it's nice to see you. So these are called hogs. You can get the, these are sort of uh, softer versions. You can get coloured versions, green ones and different things. They're a little bit, a bit, a bit harder on your feet, but it depends what you feel. So uh, fortunately it's black and this is black, so I'm not sure how much you're gonna see, but we'll just try our best. But what it can do, it acts a bit like acupressure and it relieves, um, it helps to uh, ease back the nerves in your feet when they're when they're tight and of course the nerves that go up the legs so the static nerve runs from your hip down to your ankle so sometimes everyone is different when you have these I'm going to just pop it down there there was just a little 15 minutes level one I've got it sort of with the bumpy side up and all I've been asked all I ask people to do initially is just to stand on there just to stand on here now some people it feels quite nice and people like it other people feel it's a bit oh it's a bit like walking on pebbles and then they like it and for some people it's just really really sore and it's maybe not for you you need to have um, maybe a massage or something else first but if you can you just stand on here and just let your feet get used to it and let all the bumps sort of sink deep into your feet so if it's painful just give yourself a little bit of time and just see if that subsides if it doesn't subside then get off the hog but you'll remember how you felt when you were stood before the hog. And then once you've been on there and you can feel that the, um, the nerves have started to relax and the muscles have started to relax, then you can start to pedal your feet. Just shifting your weight from side to side, really, just going forward and backwards. So those bumps are sort of feel it reaching into underneath your toes. And as you go back, you're getting in underneath the back of the heel as well. And it sort of helps you to sort of keep that flexibility of the ankle as you go back it can be a little bit hard and if you've got um kinds of uh back issues as well you you may feel this a little bit more painful so just take it nice and easy do what feels right for you so we're just sort of walking backwards and forwards at the moment so i normally say to clients to do this for about two minutes just to ease off and again, you're just feeling how that feels. So you don't need to stamp because the idea is that you're just shifting your weight on and off. So you don't need to pick the knee too high to do this. And it just kind of relaxes the feet. And when you've done two minutes of this, you can come off and just see how your feet feel on the floor. And I promise you it will feel hopefully very different. Okay, so we do that again. So then you can flip this over and we start to use this more as a balancing tool, more than a balancing tool. Some clients just like to keep them just for two minutes to just walk on. So this was inspired by my lovely, uh, lovely friends Sue and Tim. So this one's for you. So initially, just to get your balance, just take a step on and stand on the hog. Stand on the hog. And just sort of tip and tilt. Try and transfer your weight, see how that feels. Okay, changing the weight forward and backwards so you can see how it feels and you went there myself. Okay, a couple of times, so we're getting you a little bit used to that. Okay, then we're gonna take a deep breath in and you're just gonna step forward and then push your weight back on the hole. And then we step on the other side and we push the weight back onto the hole. And we do that a couple of times. And I normally say maybe about eight to 10 times on each side. Okay, so I've just done about four there. So I'm gonna come back and do this again. And again, push the weight backwards. So if you really want to challenge, you can come down and push the weight backwards into a bit more of a lunge and then push the weight backwards. So that's up to you. When you've done that, we tied, as always, I build things up step by step. We take the step behind and then we push the, the leg up. So it's a bit like you're coming up and stepping up on a step. And the first one is like you're stepping off of the pavement. So these are functional movements, functional movements. Stepping down and remember, Pilates, you gather yourself in so that you can stabilize. Okay, so just one leg and then the other leg. And again, eight to 10. 
And again, if you want to make this a little bit more challenging, you can go down and push up more into a lunge. Go down and push up into the lunge. Okay, so now we're going to start to put things together. We're going to work on one side. One side, we take a step forward, we push into the centre and then we take a step back and we push forward again. We take a step forward and then we push back, regain your balance, come back again and then back again. And we keep doing this all the way through. Take the leg. And again, you can start to make those movements bigger if you want to. Make those movements bigger if you want to. So it means you've got to control a bit more movement through, okay? So this is quite hard sometimes. Depends whether it's on your good side or your bad side. Okay, we'll swap over to the other side now. So we're going forward, we take a step on, and then we come backwards and we take a step on again. We go forward, we take that step on, and then we come back, take a step on. So it just gets you used to your balance. Going forward, take that step on, and coming back, and take that step on. Now if you feel you can, again, go down a little bit further, come back up, come back a little bit further, come back up. Okay, I'll do that one more time. So what we've done is take a stop here, and then we go back and we take a stop here. Now we're going to increase the level again, and this time we're going to take the leg up. So you go forward, you hold your balance, and then we go backwards and we hold the balance. We take the leg forward and we hold the balance. I don't like looking at myself doing this. And then backwards, and then hold the balance. And again forward. So it's all on the same leg, hold your balance. Whoa, nearly went there. And then backwards. Okay. And then if you want to, again, a bit more forward, hold your balance. And then backwards and hold your balance. And again, one more forward. And again, you can do eight to 10 of these. And then backwards, hold the balance. Okay, and we change to the other side as well. Well, my hog's moving around as well, which doesn't help. Slidey floors, okay. So if you're working your hog on the carpet, it's obviously gonna be a lot easier because the carpet will stabilize the hog. When you've got flat floors like this, it's a bit more difficult. Okay, so we go on the other side. We go forward and then we come back. Oh, sorry, I've got myself. Hold there and come back. And then hold there. And again, go forward and hold. And then come back and then hold. So your ankles are working really hard to stabilize you. And then back, and then hold. And then forward, and then hold. And then we go back, and then hold. So just a few more minutes now. So we're just gonna go forward and we push up. And again, you can take it deeper and push up. We can go forward and then push up. And then we can go back and then push up. And then put the legs down, come off the hog, and just feel how your feet feel and your ankles feel. Okay, so you can just circle your ankles, and the other way, and back again. And then if you want to, you can always just do a final two minutes on the hog, and compare how your feet feel now with how they felt at the start. My guess is that they're going to be a lot more uh, easy. It's going to feel a lot more easier. So again, start walking forward and backwards. So this is kind of a level one, level one. Walking back on the hog and walking forward on the hog. Okay, well done. Who have I got? Hi, Ali. Hi, my lovely lady, nice to see you. Okay, so just walking through and then just let you know just let that feeling you don't have to roll balls all the time you don't have to walk on here you can just let your body relax against a ball or relax against the feet and that's it that's lovely so level one with a hog thank you very much everybody have a great evening